Hi, I'm Lauren from WellElephant.com. Uh, if you haven't already, please go to WellElephant.com and download my free three-day meal plan and grocery list or whatever other good freebie I have going on over there. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to make buffalo cauliflower wings. It's super simple. I originally got this recipe out of the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook. I've amended it a little bit. Um, it just calls for a cup of garbanzo bean flour and a cup of plant milk. Um, I don't like to put a whole cup of plant milk. I do like half a cup of plant milk, half a cup of water, cuts down on the fat a little bit and it tastes exactly the same. So first we're gonna start by just cutting up our cauliflower and I wouldn't use frozen cauliflower, but they have chopped cauliflower in the grocery store and you can do that. So I washed it and then I'm just gonna cut around like this big stem in the middle um, and get that out. I can repurpose it for whatever. My dog likes chewing on that kind of stuff. But um, then you're just gonna kind of chop everything up, really. I like to pull everything apart. Cauliflower kind of pulls apart easily. So then you'll be left with like these little guys. And um, so, oh, I forgot to tell you some spices. Uh, I think in the original recipe, they just put like onion powder and garlic powder. I do that and then I kind of add um, chipotle or it's like smoked paprika, it's not chipotle. Smoked paprika, like a teaspoon. Teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, just mix it all together. And then you're just gonna batter everything. Um, do like this. Shake everything off. You don't want like a ton of batter on everything because it's it gets gunky and gross. And then you're just gonna put it on a baking sheet. Both of my baking sheets are in the oven, so pretend that's a baking sheet covered in parchment paper, but it's just parchment paper. You're gonna just batter everything up. Get the excess off. This is a very down and dirty video. No editing. A dog could bark at any time. A husband could come busting through. Okay, so that's that. You're gonna batter it up. You're gonna put it in the oven and cook it at 450 for, I like to cook it a long time. I like it to be like really kind of crispy. So I cook it for about 25 minutes. And then it's gonna look like this when it comes out. It's just crispy and brown. That's just the battered. Okay, so 450 at like 25 minutes, maybe a little longer. When it comes out of the oven, then you're gonna put it in a little layer of, you can use Frank's Red, Red Hot um, Sauce or Cholula. I have Cholula, happen to like that, and it's what I have on hand. And, they sell it at the Evil Costco. So um, kind of just, you know, pour some in a bowl and then get your battered cauliflower and roll it around in this. And again, you're just gonna put it on your parchment paper, covered baking cookie tray, whatever it's called, baking sheet. Just batter it all up, put it in here and then you're just gonna return it to the oven and cook it for about, I would say like eight to 10 minutes. Wipe my hands. Um, so you're gonna, this is gone. That's in the oven now. It's been cooked. Now you're cooking your um, fried cauliflower, your baked fried cauliflower. You're gonna throw that back in the oven for about 20 minutes. No, I mean, sorry, about 10 minutes. You're gonna take it out and it's gonna look like this. You don't change the oven, it's still at 450. And then it's gonna look like this. Just comes out nice and crispy, perfect. You don't need, uh, you need to fry anything. You could do this in your air fryer too, but quite frankly, I just like to do it in the oven because there's so much. I don't have a huge air fryer, so I just, do it in my oven, it comes out a lot better for me. This is great for like Super Bowl. Look at that. 
You can make like a oil-free ranch dressing on the side if you want. Um, you could do, you know, the carrot sticks and the celery and all that. But this is great for Super Bowl. It's great for an appetizer. When friends come over, it's great to bring as an appetizer. Um, it gets a little, like you have to let it cool. And if you're bringing it to somebody's house, then kind of reheat it in their oven. So it's not the best. It's better if, you know, maybe you have it at your house. But um, this is a fabulous appetizer. And a lot of times, honestly, I throw it over a salad and just make like a nice dressing. Um, again, you can make like a creamy Italian or you can make like a nice, you know, ranch dressing with um, tofu base. Uh, and then just throw that over a salad or eat as an appetizer. But that's that and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Again, please go to Lauren or please go to wellelephant.com and download my free three-day meal plan and grocery list or whatever goodies I have. Um, I have a tab at the top of my website called freebies. See what I got going on and download something and uh, get on my email list and I'll send you all kinds of goodies and free recipes.